Hey guys, so today I'll be making for you some delicious pea, onion, and lemon pilaf with some sovlaki style chicken and some amazing lemony crochet potatoes. I'm gonna serve this with some tzatziki and it's gonna be fresh, Greek, and it's gonna be delicious. So let's get started right now. So over here I have about 400 grams of chicken and here I have about 473 500 mils of cold water so we're gonna make a brine solution first and we're gonna soak our chicken in for 30 minutes so into this water I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of salt and dissolve the salt in the water and then add in our chicken so next I'm gonna add in my chicken and make sure it's completely submerged so we're gonna keep our chicken in this brine solution for 30 minutes while we prep our other ingredients. So to make your sovlaki style chicken, you're gonna need your chicken which has been in the brine for about 30 minutes now. Lemon juice, olive oil, chopped parsley, fresh lemon zest, freshly ground pepper, oregano, and some honey. So next, drain your chicken and put it in another bowl. So next, add in your olive oil, lemon juice, lemon zest, parsley, your oregano, honey, and some fresh pepper. We'll give this a nice mix. Now put this aside and turn on your oven at 425 and we'll cook the potatoes first and start off with the rice. Next to work on the potatoes, here I have some baby wet potatoes which I've cut in half and to this I'm gonna add salt, some pepper, a nice sprinkling of cayenne pepper to add that heat and some olive oil to really help all those spices stick to the potato and bring a lot of flavor now just toss get all that spice on the potato so potatoes are all mixed up now I'm gonna line a baking sheet with some aluminium foil so I put the potatoes on my tray here they look absolutely beautiful it's gonna go in the oven now at 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes so now to cook your basmati rice pilaf with some peas, lemon and onions, you're gonna need some fresh lemon zest, a clove of garlic, some peas, finely chopped onions and some basmati rice. So now let's get started on cooking this pilaf. So here I have a saucepan heating on medium heat and into this I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of olive oil and now we wanna let this heat up. So my oil is heated now and I'm gonna add in my onions and a small pinch of salt. Now we want to cook this for about five minutes until the onions start to become soft. So next we're going to stir in our rice, mince our clove of garlic in there, add in our lemon zest and a small sprinkling of red chili flakes. We we'll stir this around and you want to kind of fry our rice in the oil until it begins to turn translucent. Make sure to get it off from the corners and make sure it's really kind of cooking in that oil. But as soon as you see the edges of the grains of the rice turn translucent, you know it's ready. Use two cups of cold water and let this come up to a simmer. Now as you can see our water has come up to a simmer. So I'm going to turn the heat down to medium low and put the lid on and let this cook for about 15 minutes. So my potatoes are done. As you can see, it has a nice brown crust and that's perfect. Now it took only 20 minutes. They're really hot and they cooked completely. Now we're gonna let this rest and we're gonna finish these up when our chicken is done cooking. So for my chicken here, my oven is in broil mode and I've laid out my chicken on my baking sheet over here. I'm gonna put this in the oven and we're gonna, we're gonna closely monitor and wanna make sure it doesn't burn because it's gonna cook really quickly under the broiler and it's gonna help develop some nice char marks on our chicken which is gonna add a lot of flavor. It's been about 10 to 12 minutes and our chicken is basically cooked. At this point I wanna sort of put some of this reserve marinade on the chicken. Just add some extra flavor before we finish this 
and you want to just brown our chicken just to give it that nice look put it back in the oven so our rice is all ready now now all you want to do is finish this with some of our peas and use a fork and just kind of fluff this into the rice and your pilaf is perfect just set this aside put the lid on and wait for your chicken to be finished so our chicken is all ready it has some nice nice brown marks so now my potatoes have warmed up again i'm going to finish this with some fresh lemon juice some freshly chopped parsley give this a nice toss and let's start plating so there you have it guys here's my amazing recipe of the sovlaki chicken some amazing potatoes a lemon pea pilaf if you like this video guys leave me a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for new upcoming fun videos and keep a lookout for my new series called let's make it spicy and i'll see you on the next one